everybody. <clears throat> We're back in the uh, back in the woods finally. It's been a while. Last camp I did, I think I was out with uh, <clears throat> with the scouts. So can't really film those. Um, anyways, I'm out here in an Oxfordshire wood, uh, just uh, south of Oxford, and I'm out with uh, Tim Tank Tracks, Sandy from Jackalord Knives, and Mance from Wilderness Pioneers. Uh, Tim also helps out with uh, with Wilderness Pioneers. You've probably seen them if you watch uh, Tim's videos. Uh, you'll have uh, you'll have no doubtly seen this camp. Uh, he's, uh, Zed's been here and a few other people. And um, so yeah, so four of us are out, uh, out tonight, uh, just for one night, uh, to uh, have a wee play. You can see the smoke in the background there as, uh, as we're getting a fire going to uh, to get a brew on. Absolutely gagging for a drink here. So yeah, so we're in this woodland. Uh, Sandy and I have both bought our drones, our, our, uh, our drones. Uh, however, if I spin you around here, you'll see the, uh, give a look up. It's just foggy, foggy, foggy. So much fog, it's not even funny. So yes, anyways, that's, uh, that's where we are. We'll show you around as well. Uh, I'll take you down this way, and uh, you can just barely see here is the uh, the primitive shelter that they've built. I'll take you down, and we'll get some uh, some better looks of it. All right, so bring you back in a second after I uh, relocate down. So this is the shelter that they've built <clears throat> to uh, simulate primitive man, based on uh, based on the research. There's been a few additions to it that aren't uh, standard issue for uh, for primitive man. I really hope this video is coming out too. By the way, it uh, looks odd in the uh, the viewfinder. Uh, you can see here there's a window that they've put in uh, that helps with ventilation, particularly in the summertime. Uh, also gives you a bit of light uh, and whatnot. That's not normal uh, normal issue. And if we come around the side here, without tripping over all the ground clutter. So if we look at it from the side, you can see this porch section, which I'll show you in a second. That's not normal as well. It would normally just curve down here, follow the same arc as uh, as the rest of it. Um, there are some downsides to to that design is uh, your opening would need to be fairly small otherwise a lot of rain uh, runoff would come in so I'll take you up a little bit closer here and have a look at it this is all built from uh, from local reeds um, it's quite thick there's uh, I was probably eight or ten inches of it in here I would think and these are all reeds that were uh, were harvested from uh, from all along over here in this uh, in this swampland. So we'll uh, take you around the front and then see if we can show you inside. Six hours later. Now, <clears throat> I'll show you again tomorrow in some better light, but this is the inside of the shelter. You've got some hides up here that are uh, drying out. You can see the top of the shelter here. It's uh, really well constructed. You've got a bed here. Here comes, uh, here comes Sandy. He's going to stash his camera in here. 
Yeah, it's a bit too foggy out there, I believe electronics out there. I, I think, think so, yeah. Let's put them in here. Yeah. That's what I'm probably going to do. I may bring my drone and park it in here next year's as well. Oh, we do. It's totally dry in here, though, isn't it? Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah, this, uh... It's quite impressive, actually. This floor is. Fish trap up there, by the looks of it. And basket or something. Prehistoric man rubber boots. I reckon, I reckon this sort of structure, I reckon it'll stand for a good number of years, won't it? Two, three, four years, perhaps? I would think so. Before it needs rethatching, maybe longer. Yeah, as long as you had good materials when you were putting it together. Yeah. I reckon, uh, I reckon it would last a really long time. It certainly seems uh, sturdy. It's, it's not built from huge, sort of powerful uh, no. timbers, though, is it? No, but not really. Locked together quite securely. Yeah. I think that's the thing, is it's actually, you're better off having lots of smaller ones than you are yeah. a few really big ones. Yeah. Because it allows for the uh, for the flex and the bend. Be interesting to get a little fire going in here later on tonight. Yeah, it would be, yeah. Sure. Get the fire pit there. And, uh, yeah, be interesting. Just see how warm it gets in here. I think these, uh, these hides have seen some better days. So, yeah. I'll show you guys uh, a bit more tomorrow. Oh, there's a uh, there's a hide they've done up and decorated with some drawings. Cattail reed, which is what uh, a lot of the shelters made from, and a basket up there. Right. Let's go back out to the fire. It's nice to, to come to a place like this and just, just, just you know, reset yourself, isn't it? Mm.
day two.